But yeah, it, at least it's improving. Though, it is it improving. Like. I noticed it this morning, and like I said, I don't know if it's just because winds have died down or if the temperatures warmed up a bit. All of those. Perfect. Yeah. I can See, do she, she used to do the yeah. weather. Yeah. That's right. She used you to wanna do, do it the right now. Uh, no, yeah. I'm gonna leave it to the professionals <laughs> because you know I call for 70 and sunny well, all and, from like the next And you know what? They won't even get that in most of Florida today. Oh, this cold goodness. streak is really just okay. covering most of the United States, and here we are with a look at our radar satellite right now. We've got a lot of cloud cover out there. Folks, this is not a bad thing. Cloud cover, 418 in the morning on this type of weather pattern is a good thing because it kept us from getting so cold overnight. Right now, we're looking at a much better start above freezing today. The flurries uh, have moved to the east, and we're going to see a gradual warm-up in the low 40s by the time we move on into uh, probably the weekend. Right now, we're at 30, so we are now, how about this? We are warmer than yesterday's high. That's weird, isn't it? But, but we are. 29 Kokomo, 29 Shelbyville, and Columbus is at 30. We don't have much of a wind chill. I'll take a 22 wind chill any time uh, with a weather pattern like that, and certainly that's what we have. Okay, we have this cold dive of air that is continuing. Again, the cloud cover helps us, but the jet stream continues to dip to the south, so the ultra-cold air now moving into Alabama. And as I, I mentioned to... Uh, Ben and Julia, there are some spots in North Florida, for instance, that will be 15 to 20 degrees cooler than average later on today. So let's walk you through what I think the day looks like for us. 22 by 7 a.m. I may change that and just bring it on up because uh, it looks like this cloud cover is going to be quite persistent. Anyway, 35 by the noon hour and a high today of 39. And remember, it's getting dark after 5 o'clock now, so that's a, that's a good thing at 39 degrees. This is what we're looking at for the next several days. Again, we are not going to get to our average high of 54. I wish we were, pray we were, but it ain't going to happen. 40 Saturday, 42 Sunday, and then 47 on Monday. I think Tuesday we're probably there at... Uh, 50 degrees. So here comes this cold front. This is marching off to the east, and in back of it, we're basically drawing cloud cover from Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and uh, Lake Superior, so it's cloudy. I do think we're going to see a few peaks of sun today, but I think the flavor of this one is cloudy. Traditionally, when you have a front like this that comes over Lake Michigan at this speed tomorrow at noon, you get snow. Not with this one. This is such a dry pattern that I think even with two fronts in two days moving through, we get no snow. Now, I did drive through snow flurries when I came into work today, but that's moved on into uh, Ohio. So here we are with a pretty good day today, all in all, considering what we've been through. 39 today, 19 tonight, 38 Friday, 40 Saturday, 42 Sunday. Monday, we're up to 47. I think we'll get to 50 either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and then probably flatten out with a rather... A uh, nice weather pattern by the middle of next week, Ben and Julia. All right, check.